what's going on everybody? Lee Dickey here, comedian, actor, producer, reviewer, and welcome to the Lee Dickey TV YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, and turn on notifications so you never miss another upload. Please do follow me on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Lee T. Dickey and visit my official website, LeeTDickey.com. Com. If you would, please subscribe to both my podcasts, the Beats and Speaks podcast and Yo Nostalgia. Please do comment, like, subscribe, and share on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, or wherever you get your podcasts as well. Please and thank you. Leave us a five-star rating and review. That really helps us out a lot. But thanks for tuning in to the Lee Dickey TV YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Now let's get on to today's video. A Smallville animated series? Hey, it could happen. At least according to two of its leads, they'd like it to. i tell you all about it right now. So yes, a Smallville animated series could be coming down the pipeline. I don't know. I mean, this article that I read from MovieWeb doesn't necessarily state that. All it says is that two of its leads, Michael Rosenbaum and Tom Welling, would like it to happen. I know that uh, Michael Rosenbaum has been vocal about wanting sort of a reunion of the Smallville cast and that it would be easier to get everybody on board because you're only doing voiceover and it's just basically a voice role. To be honest, I would be for it, even though I came into the show about halfway through its run and, um, you know, I had to go backwards to watch the early seasons and then catch up before the finale back in about 2000 and. 10 or somewhere around there after like 10 seasons I think that wrapped at about 2010 or 2011 but I mean I enjoyed the show one of the first one of my first memories of Smallville anyway was I can't remember what episode it was but it was one where sort of Tom Welling's Clark Kent was sort of hot for teacher so or like hot for like an older woman <laughs> Um, and every time he'd like look at this woman, he'd sort of like, you know, drift off into fantasy and sort of like set things on fire with like his eyes or his, you know, virgining powers, if you will. And he just couldn't control it. Or like, what were you thinking of when you saw like your fire sort of went off or like your ability to set things on fire? started to go off and that was one of the first episodes that I remember it must have been rather late in the series run but I you know I was always a fan of the show and to be fair if Michael Rosenbaum and Tom Welling are willing to give Smallville the animated series a run like why not throw it on the CW or one of the many streaming services like say HBO Max uh, because I know that they air a lot of the DC stuff in terms of like streaming service or what have you but why not you know I mean in my opinion it may be the opinion of others like Superman works better on this small screen and yes it would be easier to get all the cast on board to reprise their roles just because you're only recording voiceover and it would work my opinion anyway I don't know I mean you guys can have your say in the comments below but both Michael Rosenbaum, who played Lex Luthor, and Tom Welling, who played Clark Kent, they want a reunion, and they've been vocal, Michael Rosenbaum especially, they've been vocal for having a Smallville sort of animated series, and I, for one, am all for it, even though I came into the show a bit later, and then had to go backwards, and, you know, caught up before the finale, but, you know, why not? It worked. You know, with other shows, granted, on, like, Kids WB back in the day, you had, like, Batman Beyond and Superman the Animated Series and Batman Batman the Animated Series and Batman the New Adventures, whatever it was, back in the 90s and early 2000s. But I think for a property like Superman, it works best if it's on TV. Now, of course, you have Superman and Lois, which is currently airing on CW, and... It's doing well, from what I can tell, and from what I watch, I actually enjoy it. So, it works. Those types of pro Superman and like the Supergirl are one of those 
properties that DC has that seems to work better on this small screen. Like there was Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman with Terry Hatcher and Dean Cain back in the 90s. One of my favorite shows. It worked best on the small screen. Superman is one of those sort of comic book heroes and one of those properties that seems to work best on television and not so much in the movies. I don't think the movies have been all that popular since, say, Christopher Reeves' days back in the 70s and 80s, right? But that's just my opinion. Smallville, an animated series, I think it would work. You know, according to Tom Welling and Ro Michael Rosenbaum, they both want it to happen. No word on yet uh, whether or not it's going to happen or whether any of the other cast members want it to happen. But that's what's going on with Smallville. Let me know what you think. Put it down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching. I've been Lee Dickey, and we'll talk to you next time. Peace. Thanks for tuning in to Lee Dickey TV on YouTube. Please remember to subscribe, comment, like, and share as well. Please do subscribe to both my podcasts, the Beats and Speaks podcast and Yo Nostalgia on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, or your favorite podcast app and player of choice. Leave us a five-star rating and review as well. Follow the fun on social media at Lee T. Dickey. That's on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And find out more information about me on my official website, LeeTDickey.com. All the links are in the description and show notes down below. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Lee Dickey, comedian, actor, producer, reviewer, and we will see you next time. Peace!